a couple of weeks ago I sent my grade 1 exam entry video to Trinity College and I've been waiting for the results. Welcome to the vlog, I am a self-taught adult beginner recorder player. I have got the results of my grade 1 recorder exam back from Trinity and to my great surprise I did manage to pass, yay! And today I thought we'd just have a really quick look at some of the comments and feedback that they gave me in the hope that this might be at least a little bit useful to anyone else taking these exams. One of the things that I was happiest with about my exam submission was my scales and arpeggios. And yes, they were fine. I got full marks for those. The first piece I played was Daphne by Van Eyck. Um, for this, I was worried that I hadn't played it expressively enough and yes I was right that did count against me though overall the comments were positive I scored 20 out of 22 marks um, for this one it says an attractive tone and very precise fingering illuminated the song-like style of the music and accuracy of notes and rhythms was never in doubt I think probably it was in doubt in my own mind but uh, I covered it well Although some opportunities for greater expressive variety were missed, this was a well-structured, fluent rendition. So yes, I think I know in future that I am free to have a little bit of a play about with the music. My second piece was Land of Hope and Glory. I got 21 out of 22 marks for this. Um, phrasing was communicatively rhythmic here with composed breathing. Breathing was one of the things that I really worked on and it worked. Um, Syncopations were precise and tone even through the slurs. That's good to hear because I chose that piece. I chose Land of Hope and Glory um, so that I could practice playing legato and slurring my notes. Piece number three was the one I was worried about. First March for the Rustic Wedding. Um, I didn't know if I'd played it correctly in the slightest, um, but I got 20 out of 22 marks, so not too bad. A splendidly bright and vital tone reflected the festive mood and the rhythmic and structural identity of the music was fully realised. Although one missed sharp, slightly compromised tonality at the close of the middle section. I've watched my video back and yeah, I played an F when I should have played an F sharp and I didn't notice at all. Um, and it sounds completely different. I've played it through um, since then making sure that I played it with the F sharp and it does just sound so much better but I didn't realise that I was playing it wrong. I'm a little bit concerned that I didn't even realise that I was playing a wrong note but it's but I think that's a positive thing because it's something now that I'll really check and double check and really try to listen out for in the future. The majority of this was extremely precise and consistent so Yes, as with much of my life, I worried over something that I shouldn't have worried over. The other thing that I worried over that I shouldn't have worried over was my overall performance mark. When I watched my video back, I thought, well, I'm just standing there and isn't it a bit boring? Performance, delivery and focus. I got 10 out of 10, which really surprised me. They've taken my sort of rigid fear as a calm and composed manner was always in evidence here and the recital was paced sensitively with careful handling of music. So there we go. Musical awareness out of 10. I didn't even know that they were marking musical awareness. Um, I got nine out of 10. An air of assurance and proficiency accompanied each item. Although a more, although a more detailed interpretive voice was not always present, Styles were contrasted effectively and a clear musical awareness was shown. Overall, I got 94 out of 100 marks. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I just want to say as well, I was really surprised at the levels of feedback you get from the Trinity examiners. I was expecting sort of a mark out of 10 or 20 or whatever for each section and then maybe sort of a general one sentence comment at the end. But that's not the case at all. They really have given some detailed feedback. Um, and I'm working on my own at the moment without a teacher, so it's really helpful to have some of this stuff. And I really appreciate that someone has clearly taken the time to listen carefully and really make some considered and helpful and encouraging remarks back. I think they've been very kind. Um, but yeah, I think big thumbs up to Trinity. Cool. And I might have started having a sneaky look at the technical work for grade two.
As for grade one, in grade two, you have the choice of playing either technical exercises or scales and arpeggios. And I haven't decided which I'm going to be doing yet, but whether I use them in my exam or not, I will be using these technical exercises as, well, technical exercises. The first one I've looked at is called Jazz Hands. It's four finger technique. And I've decided to start with this one because it has a swing rhythm, the same as one of the pieces I played for grade one. So this is a nice continuation. I can imagine that being a useful sort of thing to play at the start of a practice session to help your fingers warm up. Well, it looks like I made it through grade one. And I do feel that in general, my recorder playing has improved since I started the grade. So, so far, so good. If you would like to watch me flail my way through grade two, then please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to see you again next time. Bye.